Congress has a 12 percent approval rating, according to a recent Gallup survey. That's not a surprise to anyone, especially since the legislative branch hasn't had an approval rating above 40 percent since 2005. But it's not just the public that isn't happy with Congress. It's members of Congress. I think there's a couple of reasons why people are so frustrated with the Senate as it currently operates. One is we're not actually doing anything. We don't vote on Mondays. We come in on Tuesdays. We vote at, in the evening, and then we leave after lunch on Thursday. And it's, this is one of the least productive Senates that I've served in. There's equal frustration with the light work schedule in the House. So fly in, fly out days, you know, because we're only here, call it maybe 10 days, 10 nights a month, 11 nights a month. Um, and, you know, we're running around. We don't all serve on the same committees. Right. Some people are giving speeches on the floor. The floor is empty. No one's here when they're doing that. As per the approval rating, that same Gallup survey found that 83 percent outright disapprove of the way Congress is handling its job, while only 5 percent had no opinion. Senator Cornyn is running to be the chamber's next Republican leader, and his pitch to colleagues is that he'll fix that. I've been here when the Senate has worked, where the committees have worked and where the Senators had a chance to actually be a senator and represent their state, and uh, this is not it. So I think we can do better. There's also frustration with the way in which bills are being negotiated. It often happens behind closed doors, and many members don't know what's in a piece of legislation until it gets released to the public. That's part of the reason the recent Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, and border security package failed. And the other is this crazy idea that, you know, a handful of people can write bills behind closed doors and roll them out without adequate time to read them and debate them and to, uh, um, and that's not the way the Senate should operate. Cornyn is running against Senator John Thune to be their chamber's next party leader. Whoever wins will replace Mitch McConnell. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.